Hi guys, it's Scott here again. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do some basic scripting in MIRC which can affect your Twitch chat. So, again, very sort of straightforward stuff. I'm um, going to be quite a short episode. I'm just going to be showing you the basics of using text commands to affect different things. So what we want to do is we want to go to our MIRC. We want to make sure our channel is connected. If you haven't seen that video yet, please go check it out. Very easy to connect your chat up. Um, and now we start on our scripting. So what we want to do is we want to go to the script editor up here. It's found just up here the scroll with the green dot on. You can also click Control or is it Alt R? Alt R, yeah. Um, and that'll bring up the script editor in the remote section. Now, as you can see, I've got a script already set up here, and that is basically when someone types hello in chat. So I'll just go to my Twitch. If I type hello, MotionBot will automatically greet me with Welcome Cron TV to Cron's live show. So, very, very basic command, and I'm going to show you how to do that and change it now. So, I'll just make this bigger so you can see. Let's see if I can make this any bigger. Don't think I can. Um, no, but I'll show you how to do it. So what you want to do is you want to open a line with on, type on, uh, asterisk, space asterisk, sorry, um, colon, you want to type your event in, which is text, colon, and then the command you want to use. So I want to type in exclamation mark, um, let me just think, exclamation mark YouTube. So as you can, as you probably already know, if you're a regular Twitch you use a lot of people have exclamation on YouTube and it displays their, displays their YouTube link. So that's what I'm going to do. Then we put another colon, a hashtag, and another colon. We want to then space it and do our squiggly bracket, which is a shift and square bracket. Do a space and you want to type in message, dollar sign, chan, which means your channel. Um, and then I want to put the message after Chan. So my YouTube is HTTP and I'm just going to put the link for the YouTube so it's youtube.com forward slash user forward slash crafting motion um, like that and then I'm going to put on the next line don't forget to don't forget to subscribe And then we want to space it and do another squiggly bracket. And that's as simple as it gets. So we click OK. We can go back to here. And we want to type in exclamation mark YouTube. And it comes up with my YouTube user is HTTP uh, Crafty Motion. Um, and the second message didn't actually come up because I forgot something. They all need to be on the same line unless you open it up with another message I believe because of the way to which works you can't have much stuff on multiple lines I can't remember why but it's something like that uh, so if we leave it on the same line and we type so much about YouTube again you can see that it's all in here which is very good and it's all fit nicely so we've got our YouTube command set up I'm just going to show you how to set up another one uh, this one will set up as on text um, Hmm, just let me think of one. Alright, so I thought of one. Uh, the next one is actually going to be um, on text Twitter. And this is going to link to the Twitter. So we want to do the same again. We want to open up with a message. Um, we can just do chan. My Twitter is, or we can just put a link http www.twitter.com forward slash crafting underscore motion so um, and we'll come up don't forget to follow if you want so those are your basic commands um, exclamation mark twitter you don't need an exclamation mark remember it's whatever you want it to be if you just put twitter people might use it a bit too extensively um, but that is the main thing that there is to it. It's just what it, um, what I've lost my train of thought. Um, 
it depends what you how you want to modify it and what you want in it now there is um, a few different things that determine whether you can use the command or whether other people can use the command or just mods or whatever like that and that is the next thing I'm going to be going into shortly so for example um, if I wanted the command to only be triggered by me um, I can put just before here we can put owner on owner uh, we click OK and then it should only be able to be triggered by me which command was that? It's the Twitter command Twitter put it in here now for some reason it isn't quite showing up but I think I know why I think it's through the twitch uh, twitch is set up in the chat so I think we can actually put our YouTube uh, not our YouTube our username sorry uh, into here and I think that will work just fine um, but what I'm going to show you, which I haven't quite showed you yet, we're going to go into this more in other tutorials, uh, which people can use the commands and stuff, is the first command. We had a dollar sign and Nick in it, which is basically the dollar sign and Nick gives the person's username. Uh, so it gives their nickname. Like we have, we have to enter our nickname, it gives whoever's typing that command, it types in their nickname. So it says, Welcome Nick to, com to Cron's, TV, Cron's TV's live show. So the Nick is their username. So whoever says hello, it will greet them. So if I say hello, it's going to greet me. Welcome Cron TV to Cron's live show. So that is all there is to the text commands, guys. It's very straightforward. Um, Next episode, we will be looking into join and leave commands in the remote sections of the scripts. Um, then we will have a look into implementing some sort of slot machine system. The slot machine system is very, very cool. Um, I like it a lot. And yeah, it's just an awesome thing to have in chat. Kind of a little bit OP. And we're going to look into implementing our points system and stuff like that. So you can do giveaways based on points or raffles. Um, that kind of thing which will all come very very soon. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you next time.